Hey guys, what's going on? It is Andy Elliott. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about one of the number one objections that I see salespeople struggle with, and that is, can you tell me what my vehicle is worth over the phone? So if you're an automotive sales pro and you're watching this, your job is to be the best in the world on the phone you're going to want to watch this video till the end. And if you do, it's going to change your life and it's going to make you unstoppable. Check it out. All right, guys, so listen, so there's two things right now. Number one, grab a pen, like I've got, grab a piece of paper, kind of like this board. And what I want you to do is that I want you to write on the left side of the paper, okay? I want you to write down body language and posture. Write it down, body language and posture. Draw a line down the middle, and then on the right side, remember left side, body language and posture, and on the right side, write down quick pops. What is a quick pop? That means I'm gonna pop you quick with a little word track, right? I call these quick pop word tracks. I'm gonna give you some word tracks when you're on the phone. It's like, hey, we're not a museum. We don't buy these to keep them. We buy them to sell them. Come on, man. I ain't gonna miss your business. Are you kidding me? We couldn't be number one by not missing. You see, it's like, boom. We're going to do quick pops. I'm gonna give you guys some quick pops during this training, but also we're, we're gonna start with what's most important. If you're on the phone, question, can they see you? Can they see you? No, they can't see you. So what can they do? They can hear you. So if they can hear you, obviously you got voice tonality. The way I say something, do I sound like I believe it? But we're gonna run down these things here that your job is to do when I teach you the objection handling technique, but the way that you need to sound what they hear as you're overcoming it, okay? So number one, persuade. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor, I'm gonna tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Persuasion, your job is to get them to believe what you believe. Understand that, that is your job as a salesperson, okay? By the way, what you believe is the right way. But a lot of people, they have a different perspective of life. Some people are negative. Our job as salespeople, we're always optimists. We're gonna work this deal out. No problem, Mr. Customer, listen to me. We don't miss people's businesses on trades. That's silly. Come on, man. I'm gonna persuade you that this is the place. By the way, I'm gonna give you guys a little secret. Everybody in the industry right now is dead. Yeah, automotive sales pros, 90% of them are out there right now. They don't train, I don't know why. The best train with me, but, but they don't train. They pick up the phone, they don't sound like they believe, they're dead Bob on the phone, and they're freaking order takers, okay? Wake up, if you're watching this video, I promise you, I'll change your entire life. Okay, so number one, we want to persuade. Okay, we want to persuade. Okay, get them to believe you. Number two, influence. Okay, what does a great leader do? A great leader influences their team to reach for greatness. When you're talking to them on the phone, you're going to influence and persuade them to do what? To believe that you are the right company and you are the right person to come do business with. Can I ask you a question? Are you? The answer is yes. So do your job. Also, certainty. This is the big one for me. If you don't sound like you believe in what you're saying to me, then I'm not gonna believe it. And by the way, if you don't believe, don't expect anyone else to believe you. All right, confidence. How is confidence even created? By competence. And competence is what we're doing right now. We're training. We're training in your competence, which will show you what to do when a situation arises so you can have confidence in it. Okay, after we're done, if you practice this, repetition's the mother of skill, you're going to be really, really good at this, okay? Belief. Do you believe that you are the place that they should go, yes or no? Can I ask you a question? Are you like, hey, Mr. Customer, um, I can't tell you what your trade-in's worth over the phone, uh, but when do you wanna make it in? You know, I need you to drive the car. Listen to me, if you sound like that, I ain't coming in. I ain't coming in. Listen, by the way, you think that I'm making fun of people out there? It's embarrassing what we've allowed some of our standards in this industry to get to, okay? If you've ever seen me cold call some car dealers, and you've seen me put them on YouTube and I blank out the name of the car dealers, but I call them, if you've seen that, you, you guys cringe when you hear some of these people answer the phones. You know, I know dealers that spend $100,000 in advertising and literally spend zero dollars on the people that are handling the, that money that they spend on the leads that are coming. They spent zero dollars on the people. 
Who do you think is going to handle a, a phone call better, a trained salesman or an untrained salesman? They'll spend 100 grand on advertising and literally not train a sales pro. It, it's just crazy. It's like burning your money. It's, it's the craziest thing ever. Anyways, belief. You got to believe like no other, okay? I need you to believe that you are the place to go. Can I ask you a question? Are you? Okay, cool. Then believe it and believe it so much that that transfer of emotion comes through to me and now I believe it, okay? Lastly, sell the idea and sell the situation. What does selling the idea mean? Selling the idea, selling the situation. Is your place the right place to go? How does it normally look? Write that, write that down. How does it normally look when someone comes into your place? Is it a drag? Is it something that people go to and they just can't wait to get out of there? Or do they get in there, flags are flying, people are buying, deals are being made, and everybody's in heaven? See? Sell the idea, sell the situation. All right, so do you guys understand now? On the left side, body language and posture, what's your posture, what's your stance, what's your state? Right, you guys get me? Okay, now, now we can get over to the quick pops. We can get over to the word tracks. Okay, so the client's going to say, what is my trade-in worth over the phone? Now in the past, I've used a close called independent buyer, but what I've learned is that a lot of dealerships now don't have independent buyers. What they have is a used car manager sitting at a desk. They have an internet de department that people enter their VIN numbers, their miles, send pictures of their trades, and then they want to get some information over the phone, and then these people call and they say, hey, great news, I got a way to go, or hey, Mr. and Mrs. Customer, I want to let you know I have a vehicle that you're interested in, and they say, what time can you make it in? And the client goes, Hey Andy, time out. What's my trade-in worth? And what they're trying to do here is one simple thing. It's called shop. And by the way, listen, if they're nine hours away, I said nine hours, which means they're going to have to get in a car and drive for an entire day or a half a day, or they're gonna get on an airplane, I can tell you that they are generally gonna to wanna to know what their trade-in is worth before they come in. They're trying to secure their financing or the deal before they head down. Okay, they're going to pass many, many, many dealerships before they get down to you. But what if a guy is an hour to three hours away? Can I ask you a question? If he comes into the dealership, generally, are you going to put a deal together with him? Absolutely you are. Do you think if you tell him what his trade-in's worth, and you're not going to tell him I'm not going to tell you, but do you think if you tell him, do you think he will shop you and call around to try to see if somebody can give you more? I already know your answer. It's yes. If the answer is yes, and he is gonna go shop around, if someone else had a car like yours and said, hey, well, they're gonna give you 15,000? Oh, wow, well, we'll just give you 15,500. Well, they're like, oh, well, I guess I'll just come see you. Hell, your manager probably had given them 16 grand. But the fact that you gave them a number on the phone, now they're going to shop you, and literally, they're not going to contact you anymore. See, I need you to understand how shopping works, and we're gonna get into the word track, okay? I've already talked how to handle it, how to believe, but if I talk to you and you tell me you're gonna give me 15, this is how customers work. And then they call a dealership down the road, ABC Motors, and they give them 15, five or six, 16 grand. When you're trying to call me back, I'm not answering now. And now you're like, I don't know what happened, we were doing good, we were buddies. No, you weren't buddies. You gave them a number and now they're gone. And now you're gonna watch your competition sell them. So don't do that. Okay, so at this point, the client's gonna say, hey Andy, can you tell me what my vehicle's worth over the phone before I come down? I'll say, absolutely, you got it. Hey, do me a favor, grab a pen, grab a piece of paper. Mr. Customer, do you got a, you got a piece of paper on, you got a pen? Do me a favor, write down number one. Just simple, number one. You know, like one to 10 or one to 100. The first number is a one, write down number one. I want you to write that down because I want you to remember this the entire conversation. Our company could not stay number one by not giving enough money for people's trade-ins. It physically couldn't happen. What we do in our store is that we're highest in all the critical areas that are important to you and your family, and we give world-class customer service. We understand when a customer comes in, if the price ain't right, they ain't buying it. If the interest rate ain't right, they're not buying it. If the monthly payment ain't right, they're not buying it, and if they don't like the car, they're not buying it. Lastly, we've learned right now for us to go to the auction and buy a vehicle, it costs transportation fees, it costs auction fees, we literally have to buy cars that we know nothing about, and most of the time, we don't even get an opportunity to drive them. And in some cases, we have to pay more money than we want. My general managers overpay for our clients' trade-ins to get the opportunity to drive them in person and physically make a deal with the owner. So I wanna tell you, the last part of the deal is we could not be number one 
by not giving enough money for people's trade-ins. So if you're looking to get the most money for your trade-in, there is only one place to get that, and that is right here with me. What I would like to do is I'm going to grab the keys of this vehicle that you're looking at, so you can come in and touch it, feel it, smell it, make sure you love it. We're going to make sure that all the numbers fit perfect for you, and if they do, I'm pretty sure you pass go and do business with us. Hey, what time can you make it down? I can't wait to meet you. By the way, when we hang up, I'm going to send you a picture of me so you can put a name with the face. I'm also going to send you my address so you can click the little maps button. I can't wait to see you when you get here. Also, on top of that, just because I told you I was going to give you world-class customer service, I'm also going to have a hot cup of coffee waiting for you when you get here or a cold uh, soda. I don't care whatever it is. I'm literally going to serve you at a level that no other salesperson or no other business place has ever served you in your life. By the way, you're going to be coming in by yourself or you're bringing your family with you when you come. Guys, listen to me, push through, write it down, push through. What did I say? I said, grab a pen, grab a piece of paper, write down number one, just one simple deal. And I'm gonna make them write down number one. And I'm gonna say, number one means we couldn't be number one and we couldn't be the best if we didn't make sure that the prices were the best. If we didn't make sure that our customers didn't get the best interest rates. If we didn't make sure that our customers didn't get the best payments. And lastly, we couldn't say number one if we didn't get en enough money for people's trade-ins. And I wanna tell you that because we do things a little bit differently. We know the cost to acquire a great trade-in like yours would probably be to go to the auction, right? And we'd have to buy a vehicle, we'd have to pay a pre-inspection uh, fee, right, to have it inspected before it got here. We'd have to pay a shipping fee to have it here. After we bought it, we'd probably have to pay an auction fee. And then we've never had a chance to even drive this trade-in by the time it got here. You know what my, my general manager wants? He wants to make as many deals as he can face to face with owners and customers just like yourself. You're not going to leave here with the same car you drove up in. You're gonna drive out in our car and that's a reassurance that we're gonna be highest in all the critical areas that are important to you and your family and give you world-class customer service. I promise you will blow your mind. That's a guarantee. And if I didn't, you wouldn't do business with us and I wouldn't waste your time and have you come down here. Okay, let's go through it. Persuade, influence, certainty, confidence, belief, sell the idea and the situation. Did I do that? Yes, I did. Can I ask you a question? Did I lie? Nope. Integrity good? Through the roof. Did I paint the picture? Did I tell the truth? Yeah, your dealerships right now, you know how much money they're paying at the auctions for cars? Plus paying auction fees, plus paying a buyer to go buy it. But hey, I'm okay to tell the client. I'm, I'm totally okay with it. Because that's the reason why I'm willing to give them more, which your owners and your GMs and your managers are willing to give them more to have them come down. Because the cost to acquire a trade-in at the auction is very expensive and we know nothing about the car. We'd rather give the money to our valued customers like yourself, okay? Now, if you watch this video 20 times, could you find the right word tracks? Could you believe like I believe and could you talk your way through this and sell ideas and sell situations and explain to your clients and, and breed massive certainty in why you're the right place to go do business with? Absolutely. So, I'm teaching you guys to be the best in the world. Men and women all across the country. If you train with me, you train because you want to be the top 1% in the industry. It's that simple. Now listen to me, if you're not training right now, lastly, I'm gonna say this, if you're not training with me right now, day to day, every morning on my live Zoom calls that I teach, and you're not on my Project 500 training, I need you to do me a favor, okay? You say, Andy, what's Project 500? Say what? That's a project, that's a training center that I've built with 1,800 training modules in it that teach you literally how to make a half a million a year selling cars. Now do me a favor. Write down 500 grand. Do you believe, do you believe that you could earn that? There's an old saying, it says you'll never out earn your own self-worth. Do you believe you can earn that? If you do, I want you to text me right now, okay? You're gonna text me 918-210-0254, okay? You text me right here and you say, Andy, give me some information on Project 500. My name is Josh, I'm ready to go to the next level and I'm gonna personally reach out to you. I want us to crush it and kill it, and I wanna help you make more money than you ever imagined in your life, but I want you to be a pro in a world full of amateurs. I love you guys. If you love this video, share it, like it, comment below. Um, more importantly, go tell everybody about it. Let's make the world a better place together. I love you guys. Let's go to war.
Hey guys, I just wanna tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.